Bodrum, Turkey, a wonderful coastal town here in the southwest coast. A place where you can find crystal clear water, rich history, and fresh food. Here's a destination you likely haven't heard of before, but might want to remember after watching this video. This is Bodrum. So welcome to our hotel here in Bodrum. This is what you can expect for $90 a night. So it's called Costa Maya and it's giving like Tulum vibes. And we're doing this new thing where we give you a tour before we mess up our room. <laughs> so come look. Nice, it's a small room, but has AC, bed. All we need. All we need. They have balcony, a fridge. This is our balcony area. Nothing crazy, we don't need anything crazy. And then the entrance over there, a little reception area. And then in there is the pool. That is the name of our hotel, Costa Maya. It's kind of hidden, but like then once you like go through there, it's like, Boom. whoa. You have pool, restaurant, like lots of cute little dream catchers. <laughs> so it is a beautiful place in a phenomenal location, she was saying, right in the heart of the center. So let's get out and start exploring Budrum. All right, so we're gonna go explore. And as soon as we go out of our hotel, we make a right and we are following this path to the marina. Yeah, so as soon as you walk outside of the hotel, we're about like a three to five minute walk from the main marina, port, beach area. So we're gonna go explore it, see what there is to do. It's 5.30, so we only have about three hours until sunset. So the goal is just see what we can, have a nice dinner, and really start tomorrow off with a bang. And driving is not the move here. Do not drive. Because the streets are very narrow and it's like two ways, but it looks like one way, so it probably shouldn't be a two way. Yeah, so, so you can have a rental car, just park it somewhere. They have a lot of parking places around here that you can pay. But if not, leave it at your hotel and walk. It's the best way to get around. And if not, just get a taxi. Cheap and... Or scooters, there's a lot of scooters. Or scooters. There's so many great things to do here, like day trips to the neighboring Greek islands for about $30 a person. There's also local boat days where you can go and explore the coast, and also an ancient castle here built in the 1400s, but it's about $14 a person to enter. The food in Bodrum is some of the best we've ever had. So tonight, we went to a restaurant called Diki Mediterranean Grill. The food and service here were phenomenal, and we'd recommend everyone to come and try it out for yourselves. You won't be disappointed. To start our next morning, we went down to the dock and booked our boat trip for the entire day. about to jump off. <laughs> Relaxing in the ocean with the shark chasing you. <laughs> Yeah, so we're here at this spot for I think around like 30 or 45 minutes so jumping off the roof of the boat and just relaxing and the next spot is supposed to be even better Here at our second spot is my noodle. There's cut. The so water is even more blue. It didn't think was possible, but here we are. No hate for like Santorini, but like, <laughs> wouldn't you rather be here? Yeah. And there's like less people. Like, come on, come on. And we've met a couple of like That's Turkish people here, and they are the nicest people. They're so, so nice. sweet. Have a new friend here. He's awesome. He's about to do the jump as well, but he helped record my jump and and we got a new subscriber <laughs> and a new subscriber <laughs> but yeah Turkish people are, are so incredibly kind our first Turkish subscriber <laughs> they're so sweet and I can't say enough good things about Turkey because it truly is such a paradise for real for real, for real. and now we enjoy here for about another hour and a half or hour or so relaxing and there's a guy with a 
Ice cream. Oh, my noodles all up in your face. Ice cream truck or ice cream boat over there. Just chilling, panning out ice cream. Alright, so Marcos is going to get some money and we're gonna swim up and get some ice cream. No way, Marcos is just like whistling at the uh, ice cream guy and he's coming. Perks of knowing how to whistle. I need, I need to get on that level. Oh, we could do the Oreo. First bite in paradise. That is so good. Phenomenal. Alright, so we just got back from our boat day in Bodrum and honestly it was amazing. The boat was beautiful, it was like this wooden boat, the staff was so nice, the food, the food was really good. Yeah. And it was a full like a full self-serve buffet style breakfast um, breakfast, <laughs> lunch with pasta that was served in like a gigantic tub. You got two big pieces of like fried chicken. And you got to serve yourself, so yeah. It was amazing because like you were able to really fill yourself up to not have to spend money on snacks and things like that. So it's it was really it was really good. Yeah, we went to like four different stops, maybe five, and like each place the water was like crystal clear blue, and it was just like there was like a spot to jump off mm. from like the top, and it was fun, it was safe. Ten out of ten recommend. It's one of the best things you can do here in Bodrum to get away from the city, get away from all the party and the craziness and just get out there in the open open sea. And you can save money by just walking along and asking how much it is instead of booking it online. I think you save like six dollars? Yeah, per, per, we save about six dollars per person rather than doing it online because you book on places like Viator and they take fees, they take like their commission. So just going up here to the locals themselves and being like, hey, how much do you charge? Then you can kind of get a, a much better price. We ended up paying about $25 compared to $32 per person online. So $14 saved between the two of us. And that's insane because we were literally there for like, what, seven hours? Yeah, it was, it's a full day experience. Bodrum was so much fun and we're so happy we were able to visit this beautiful destination. If you were ever wondering if Bodrum is a place you should go, the answer is a resounding yes. You will not be disappointed. 